Hello, welcome to 1006 way of learning API testing. So in this video, we will see about another Swagger page that is available open source for everyone. So it's called the Pet Store. You can just go to Google and search it as uh, Pet Store Swagger and you'll be uh, navigated to this link. So before we start off with any of the uh, APIs within Pet Store Swagger, I'll just show you one more thing. So for this particular Swagger JSON, so when I click and open this JSON, which is having a lot of more, uh, as I mentioned, how to find out the attributes or the values that you have to give to the query parameter. So this is like very clumsy. So in this case, generally what I do is like, uh, I try to copy this entire thing. Uh, just go on, click Control A, Control C. Okay. Uh, go to Notepad. Okay. Create one new, uh, new file and then paste it. So anyhow, it is going to look like this. So you can open plugins and then if you have JSON viewer, if you give format JSON, it will be immediately formatted. So in this way, it will be easy for you to figure out what kind of value you have to give for what type of query parameters. So in case in plugins, you are not having JSON viewer, uh, click on plugins admin. So in this, if you go on search for JSON here, you'll be able to, mine is already there. So that is why it's not showing here. So you, you will see JSON, just select on that one and click on install. So it will just have a refresh by itself. Post that, you will be able to see uh, JSON viewer here. Okay. All right. We'll get back. So we'll get back to the UI Swagger page. So in this Swagger, if you see, uh, there are multiple things. Uh, okay, I think this by mistake. So we'll just close and see like what are the different tables that are available. If you see here. So these are the three three tables that are available for this pet store. So one is having the data about the pets, one is having the data about the store, and one is having data about the different users. So we will try to open uh, pets first. So in this pets, if you see, if you see there are different uh, no uh, request types that are uh, you are able to see it here. So first we gen we the previous wagon we saw only get methods. So here you are seeing poof, post and delete as well. So generally we say there are four uh, operations when, when we perform, right? So CRUD operations, which is like uh, create, read, update, and delete. So for create, we use post method, which means like in case you are creating a new record or a row to the existing table, it is uh, used. What we use is a post method. Next is read. So get is actually the read method. So whatever is already existing in that particular table, you will come, you will be able to retrieve that data and view it. So that is get. Next is update. So update is actually put. So if you have to update one particular value in an existing row or record in that table, then you will use put method. Finally, delete. So delete is like you are deleting one particular row or based on whatever query parameter that you are giving, the number of rows is going to be deleted. I hope this gives a uh, overview. There are few more methods uh, that are available in REST API. So we will learn it as and when we see it. So for now, these are the four basic methods that you have to familiarize with. So we will stop it here and we will see what each method or uh, is going to uh, show or what kind of query parameters is going to give, what kind of response that we are going to get in the upcoming videos. Thank you.